<laughs> oh, lads. How we doing? Alrighty. Night shift pajamas? You guys want to get some pajamas? No, I don't. Not really. Not really. No pajamas here, dude. Oh, the rank reset happened. What's up, my friend? You guys want some night shift pajamas? No. Behavior. I don't want any pajamas, bro. I'm not feeling the pajamas. I am not feeling the pajamas. Pyramid head? You want a pyramid head, bro? We played him last time, but you must have missed it. But yeah, we can play him again. Yogi. Trying to get Rosie to bitch it this time of the day. I see you, boy. Pyramid Head gameplay. You know what Pyramid Head gameplay consists of, bro? Let me tell you something about Pyramid Head gameplay. Alright, Happy Demo Trash is back. Well, Demo Trash never left for me. Demo trash never left. Demo trash never left. I'm ready for bitch boy, bro. That's who I'm ready for. I'm ready for them bitch boy changes. Just kidding. Pyramid head gameplay equals fucking just throw out a fucking attack and pray to god that they're bad and it hits them. Hawkins lab need, need a rework. Nah, it's fine. Where is pyramid head? Nah, it's fine dude. Hawkins is fine. You love it. You love to see it. Okay. Nah, it's fine. Hawkins is fine. Oh, hi, Pyramid Head. What's up, bruh? I'm up. I'll go ahead and just tell you guys. I'm sure if more people decide that they want to show up, I'll repeat it. But I'll just go ahead and say it. Uh, Tuesday, almost by the title, we, we give a shout out. We spend a special shout out to Tuesday. I know where everyone's sipping for Wednesday lately, but you know, Tuesday. Let me tell you something about Tuesday. Tuesday is now one of the better days of the week for your boy. Because Tuesday, I have changed my work schedule to a 4x10. Which means I work 10 hours a day. But the trade-off is we get Tuesdays off. Which means Tuesday is going to be a day Rosie going to stream, bro. We're going to be streaming a lot more on on uh, Tuesday. I can't promise we'll stream every Tuesday. Some Tuesdays I will probably be hungover, so those days might not be happening. But we will frequent the day of twos. We will frequent the day of twos for streaming purposes. Possibly multiple streams a day. I might be doing two streams a day. I might be streaming a day, then I might be uh, getting on again later on tonight. So we might be doing two today, ladies and gentlemen. 
playing some DBD. We gotta show you the truth, bro. Show you some uh, pyramid head. I'm ready for Chucky, bro. I'm ready for some Chucky. Oh, hey, Chucky, dude. Chucky. Scott Judd doesn't like Chucky, though. He doesn't like how Chucky could uh, guarantee one hit in like 45 seconds. Scott Judd is not a fan of the guaranteed hit after 45 seconds that Chucky can get, so. That means Chucky need a nerf, but. Scott Jen like admitted like like ch he said Chucky was stupid showing his own gameplay and then admitted on the very same thing that the survivor could like could like literally like just uh avoid you for another 40 seconds if they were actually better. Like what the fuck, dude? Like we are at the point where if the killer can actually hit you, they're bad for the game. If the killer can actually hit you, they're bad for the game. Like, forget it down you, forget camping, forget all this. There, we are at the point with these content creators where if the killer can fucking hit you, they are ridiculous and bad and OP. If the killer can touch you, Candyman is stupid and won't be in DVD. I think that's racist, Scott. Are you saying Candyman is not a horror icon? Are you saying it because he's black, Scott? That's racist, bro. Cancelled! Cancelled! Hashtag cancelled! I thought Candyman would get it before fucking Chucky. Chucky, I thought, was never gonna make it because of the concept, but I guess behavior can make anything work. Chucky is proof they can make anything work. Though, when you really look at it. Chucky is proof they can make anything they want to work. I saw somebody uh, the other day say, uh... Uh, they should, we should put, uh, it, 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 Chucky's in, so, let's put in fucking, uh, let's put in fucking Sam from Trick or Treat. Why the fuck not? Another suggestion the guy gave, uh, this is not gonna be a popular one, but you know what, I fucking love it. Uh, if you fucking give me Esther from Orphan, I will fucking be like, bro, come on. Cause I fucking I fucking love that movie. The prequel was actually really nice to the Like you give me you give me orphan, I'll be like, what the fuck? If you somehow make Esther from Orphan work, like, I will be obligated to, like, play her 60% of the matches. My controller's kind of finicky right now, if you can't tell. I love how I can't find them. My favorite kind of game. What are we going to the corner for? Oh, wait, there's a, there's a tile here. Unlucky. I I need to buy white one. <laughs> Isabella is a great actress. She's a little more than that. <laughs> She's uh that girl is fine, dude. She is, uh, she's Rosie's little crush, man. I, I've always liked her. Oh, well, you gotta come out. You, I, bro, I came out in, uh, that came out in, what, 90, 2009? Oh, hmm. That, that, uh, prequel, though, was actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. I had low expectations for it because, uh, kind of worried because, like, uh, I remember what they did to, like, the boy. I remember how bad the boy sequel was. Can't get her, where is she?
But like, I, I remember how bad the the boy movie was. That second boy movie they made. I remember how like trash it was. And so when they announced, so when Orphan came out like a year later, I was kind of nervous about it. And then it, then it turned out to be way better than than I ever expected it would be. Quiet place? That actually would be pretty good. Very good, gamers. Tunnelhead. That's in the back. I don't like that we just had to sack a score chuck, but uh, it should be all right. Ah, we would have rather popped this one. I'll play by a bot, bro. Hermit's here, but what's that, boy? We need a pain rezo. Do we get you, boy? Nice. Oh, we saved our three gen no matter what. Thanks, Pop Pain Rezo. Deleting like half the gen. Appreciate you. A bot's tunnel fodder, we can get her the fuck out. Ah, I love it. Two hits. Very nice. Is that entity summoned? It is. Very nice. That's how you camp right there, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see how we camped? But like far kind of far from hook? We did the same strat that we did for base camping, but we just kind of did it further from hook. That gen's done. That's game over, GG. Ah. The bot's an easy kill. Save that pain, Rezo. We have control of the game now.
Pop and Pain Rezo are so good. You need to decide when you're playing killer these days, ladies and gentlemen. The most important thing for you to decide is exactly what are you like what are you giving up. The top five perks in the game right now are corrupt, pop, uh, jolt, and pain rezo. And save. Save slash FP. Like if you want to like you have to decide what you're gonna give up. Like, are you gonna give up, uh... Like, on Pyramid Head, we just, like, the character's lethality is good enough to where I'm be like, okay, you don't really need save on this killer. There was kind of just nothing really better. Now that you need to hit gens again really hard because, uh, camping is nerfed. Kind of nerfed. There we go. Yeah, ca camping's a bit nerfed, so you have to pick your battles wisely. In terms of when you can camp, you can't. Uh... Hold on, let's get her. Ah, yeah. Bro, you're all. You guys have lost. Stop being bitches. Like the game's over. But it's like, you. Okay, I'm talking about the meta. I mean, you can run whenever you want. I'm not gonna shit on you for running shit unless your name is Wage and you run Whispers. On Alien. Like, I'm not gonna shit on you for, like, running what you want. It's just, if I'm talking about, like, what, what's the- if you're trying to win, what's the best shit you could possibly run? Yeah, the head's pretty good, dude. And it's like, I mean, in my, in my, again, I have, like, my reasoning is, my reasoning is information, information, as nice as information perks have, and when they go off, it's like, holy fuck, the information perk is really good. Ultimate, ultimate weapon's great, yeah. Ultimate weapon's an exception, and I can explain why. But, like, you, n nine times out of ten, an information perk is something... It, it, it's something you want to be like gating yourself throughout the match. You want to know where to go to pop a gen by yourself. You don't need. You don't want a perk to tell you. You want yourself to to develop the ability to find out where that is yourself throughout the course of a game. That way you can save a slot to do something that a perk can't. Right. You, well, you need a perk that, that, that can do something like a pop, where it's like, yeah, no matter how good I am at this game, I, Pop Goes the Weasel is the only thing that can do what it does. Right? It's the only thing that can do what it does. J uh, Surge is the only thing that can do what it does. Where when I hit somebody with a basic attack and down them, I blow up 8% of a gen. Like, like, but, but, but so that, that, I mean, that's what I mean. And the reason that Ultimate Weapon is an exception, again, I don't think Ultimate Weapon is meta. I think Ultimate Weapon would be meta if Corrupt Intervention wasn't so fucking necessary. The thing about Corrupt Intervention is, uh, Ultimate Weapon and Corrupt Intervention are fighting for a perk slot. IMO. I think that, that's how it works. Because if you run Ultimate Weapon, you're going to be able to track them at the start of the game. You will, you, like, the, 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 the patrol time that Corrupt Intervention also sp seeks to protect, Ultimate Weapon is seeking to protect that as well. And the Ultimate Weapon has the added benefit of also not just dying in the mid-game. You might not need it, like, it gets less useful at the more information you gain as a player. I, but, but it's like, Ultimate Weapon's the more fun perk to run, but Corrupt Intervention will beat better teams. That, that's how, that, that, that is what I've determined after laughing ultimate weapon ultimate weapon is the more fun perk to run and by corrupt intervention will help you beat good teams because again no matter how good you are at the game corrupt intervention blocking off a gen for up to two minutes is something you cannot earn through skill 
You cannot earn blocking off two gens at the three gens for two minutes at the start of the match through skill. You can earn that through oh hi. You were right here the whole time. And I must and again I must state I hate corrupt. I hate the perk and I don't want to run it anymore. I hate I hate corrupt too. I hate corrupt. I hate corrupt and I understand why if, if someone goes, I hate this perk, I don't want to run it. I, I completely get it. I completely get it. But in terms of block uh, in terms of the early game, you are still at a complete mathematical disadvantage. Complete mathematical disadvantage, completely. And again, you can't beat top tier survive with friends, even with the meta. Just because it deactivates after a down, that's not why you hate corrupt intervention. That's a stupid reason to hate corrupt intervention. I talked about why the fact that doesn't matter as soon as the perk was nerfed. Because if it deactivates after a down, let's say the perk lasts a minute and five seconds and then it deactivates after a down. Where do you think the other three survivors are? On the fucking generators that uh, are were blocked? Do you think they're just sitting there? Do you think they're just sitting there if they're actually good? Are, are they sitting by the corrupted gens? No! Pew! They're fucking done! They are nowhere near the corrupted generators when it goes down after a minute and five seconds. They're nowhere near, like, you're not losing, and plus any, and plus any fucking time frame that you're losing, plus, oh my god, that's such a stupid reason to hate the perk. The reason, the, the reason that you hate corrupt intervention is I'm sick of running this on all of my fucking builds just to correct the fucking early game issue. That's why you hate corrupt. The early game is mathematically shit, and the fact that we don't have a base change for that after they've gotten, like, seven is completely ridiculous. And again, I'm not saying make the perk base. How about this? Block off two gens for one minute. That's all good killers need. If you block off two gens for one minute, every killer takes corrupt off. Every single one. You give every killer two gens one minute, corrupt is dead. I'm serious. If you if you give every killer two gens one minute and a corrupt and corrupt intervention's new effect is an additional generator is blocked off and all generators are blocked off for an additional 60 seconds, the perk dies. Nobody runs it anymore. You run ultimate weapon. Or save. You run ultimate weapon or save the best for last and it's spawned. On this character specifically. On this character specifically, you you run ultimate weapon or save. That's what you do with with that spot. But it's like even then, uh, even then though, what's cool is like you have base slowdown if you do that. So it's like okay, I have a free slowdown option. Maybe I can, like like because you know what I mean? if because you have a free slowdown option, you can always opt to even go. Oh, I'm gonna run old meta with. I'm gonna try a different perk this game. If you take corrupt out, if you delete corrupt from every single build you have, every single perk in the game becomes more appealing. It becomes a more appealing choice because you don't. You are giving up something so drastic. You have these three perks in your back pocket, right? You got a surge, you got a pain rezo, and you got a pop. You got these three, like the, these three perks seem to be making up the killer core right now. Surge, pain rezo, pop, I guess corrupt too. Against again, this is all against good teams. Against babies, you can bring whatever you want, and anything will work. And we've talked about that several times. And Jeff matchmaking, the matchmaking right now is Jeff matchmaking. It is it is rank based matchmaking wearing MMR as a costume. Rank-based matchmaking is back in the game, and it's been back in the game for like two years. Rank-based matchmaking is back in this game. Jeff match- it's just- it's Jeff matchmaking now. It, it, it's this very- it's this stupid system that's calling itself MMR that is pushing bad players up. That's what rank-based matchmaking is. The, the purpose of the system is to push bad players up into your games to play against them, so you will be able to win matches even though the game is shit. Even though the game is unbalanced. That way they don't have to fix anything. 
if the kill rate, like the kill rates to them, they they don't use kill rates to determine game health. That's not what the kill rates are for, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're on fire today. I just got up and we're on fire. Everybody, I, I don't even have to tell you guys because it's been an unspoken fact what the kill rates are for. The kill rates do not determine game health and they don't determine who's good or bad. Just look at Nurse. Nurse has the lowest fucking kill rate in the whole fucking game. Because she's hard as fuck. Right? Nurse has the lowest kill rate in Dead by Daylight despite being the best killer in the game. So, the kill rates don't mean anything. You, you know that right there. But let's talk about why they're still used. Let's talk about why the devs care about them. Why do the devs give two fucks about the kill rates of Dead by Daylight? Because if every killer is averaging two kills a game, they don't gotta fix anything. If, if if the killer, if Bitch Boy, who was considered trash, right? Well, I guess he's, I, guess, I think he's fallen off because they, they're actually buffing him. If fucking, who's not very good, but they will, uh, Ghostface. Ghostface isn't very good. Ghostface kind of sucks, right? Ghostface is trash. If Ghostface is averaging two kills a game, that means he's not losing, right? If Ghostface is averaging a 2k, he's not losing. That means they don't have to fix him in the current state of the game. They don't gotta fix him. So, the way that matchmaking plays a role in that is it bumps up shit players so your Ghostface will be able to hit a 2k average. Ghostface will be able to hit a 65% kill average if they push shit players up to high MMR. That's what they're doing. That way Ghostface fucking can hit a 2k average and then we don't have to buff him. Because Ghostface is strong enough to deal with the current uh, situation of the game. Which is beating the shit players that get in your games. Against the Swift, his fucking kill rate's probably 20 to 40 percent, right? And we all know that. Against the Swift, this character's ass, and he can't do anything. Try playing a Swift against Ghostface. It's it's it's, it's a fucking it's a fucking awful time. It's a fucking miserable experience trying to make Ghostface work against anybody good. But if the killer's averaging 2k as a game because of shit matchmaking, it's fine. We don't gotta feel. We don't have to change anything. But he gets a 4k's with Alien, bro. Bro, you can get 4Ks with anything. <laughs> and Jeff matchmaking. That's what we're, that, that, that is what we're talking about. We are talking about the impact of the matchmaking on this game. And again, you know what? We've been saying the same shit for years. The only time we got a fucking break from this conversation is when MMR was in the game, when Patrick was there. When Patrick was there, we had an actual matchmaking system. And guess what? Killer was getting buffed real fucking quick, wasn't it? Killer was getting buffed real fucking fast. We got a buff. We got a great buff to Dead Man Switch, which didn't make it meta, but it made it pretty fucking good. Call of Brian came out and was meta for a little bit. Like the Killer Generator meta, Killer Generator meta, completely out. Like Deadlock came out. That's still a good perk. That's that's the top ten perk in the game still. Deadlock. Deadlock's top ten option in this game. Still, they they haven't nerfed that one. That, a Patrick design perk is still top ten in the game. Really, no fucking shit, dude. Like, like, like we, and then, and then, uh, the Killer had a, like an organic camping strat that would fucking beat you. That that camping strat that we had, listen, but people be talking about the, how Dead by Daylight was low key more balanced than it was ever it ever was. Part of that fucking reason was that Killer had an actual objective that they were doing. You were using save the best for last slash force pendants to actually camp people out of the game and kill them. Save the best for last uh, for versus FP is kill, was killer dependent. I'll always say that. It depends on if you wanted to leave hook a little bit or not. If you wanted to leave hook a little bit, save was probably better. And if you wanted to hardcore camp the hook, FP was probably better. His FP is basically getting eight stacks for free. But it, it, it came with the condition of you have to actually proc FP. Whereas if you're Freddy and you want to go pop, if you want to go teleport, proc, pop a gen, and then come back. You're Eruption, the book the, the beat solo queue babies, it was never that good. That one. But you know what I'm talking about. Eruption and overcharge, you forgot about that. Yeah, overcharge was decent for a little bit. Then they nerfed that one. And then Patrick left and they nerfed all his toys. Right? Then Patrick left, Patrick left and they nerfed all of his toys. Everything Patrick gave you is gone. Pretty much. Pain Rezo. Pain Rezo was a Patrick creation. The original Pain Rezo of 15% plus a barbecue notification, that was a Patrick creation. The P Pain Rezo in its original form was a Patrick creation. After Pinhead, right? That was after Pinhead, right? Pa Pinhead was Patrick's first chapter. That's when MMR came in. Yeah. P 
Payne Rezzo's a Patrick design. And then look at the, look at the killers here. Look at the killers under Patrick. Pinhead, Artist, uh, Dredge, Wesker, Knight. And then I think, I think his era, I think Knight was his last killer. Possibly Skull Merchant though. Possibly some of his design ideas were in Skull Merchant. Like, this era, look at this era of killers. Very Top 10 for a little bit. Borderline top 10 until he was nerfed. Top 5, top 10 right now. Uh, she was not good on release. She wasn't. But she had Condemned Strat, which was something. Dredge, moderately decent mid-tier. Wesker, top 5. Knight, top 15 for sure. Skull Merchant, when she came out, was top 10. Fight me. I'm done, I'm done sugarcoating that. This killer was top 10. Before she was nerfed. She was top 10. DC. A any killer? Listen, guys. You know how you know she's top 10? Any killer that could trap survive with friends in the match with you for an hour was top 10. Sorry. She she was debatably top 5. If she a Any killer that could slow down survive with friends to that extreme degree was top 5. No way she wasn't. She honestly had a kit that was too perfect, though. Not gonna say we, we we appreciated her, like, but like, for 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 what you need for for what 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 Skull Merchant fucking showed you. Wage call Alien A tier before he got nerfed to hell, but it's like so did I. <laughs> I called Alien top ten. They added his mass spec. I don't know, but we're talking about Skull Merchant. Like, in terms of what you needed to be to actually play the game and stop Swift, like, was there a, in terms of stopping Survive with Friends, was there any character that was better designed in the past, like, two years? In terms of stopping Swift in its current form, was there any killer that was better designed than her? She could hold them hostage for an hour. Like, you gotta give her, you gotta give killer stupid shit like that to just stop Survive with Friends, and that's why Survive with Friends needs a fucking nerf. So you don't get more killers like that. Oh. <laughs> so you don't need more killers like that. And also, I don't think Alien's nerfed to hell. I don't, I don't think, I mean, Alien's nerfed, he's not nerfed to hell. He's not terrible. The drones still aren't horrible. What'd they do? They nerfed his ability to, to hear gens under the ground, and then they gave his tail a little more cooldown, right? That's what they did to Alien. That's what they did to uh, Xeno, right? That's not nerfed to the ground. It's nerfed, it's not nerfed to the ground. Yeah. Alien's nerfed, not nerfed to the ground. I, I, I'm honestly surprised they didn't nerf this character to the ground. I'm surprised they didn't nerf this killer to the ground. TBH. Uh, you think Nemesis Whip is more consistent? A lot of people have been saying that. And I don't disagree. I don't disagree that Nemi Tail is more con uh, that Nemi Whip is more consistent when it's working. Problem is you gotta get it up to tier 3. The problem with Nemesis has always been shit macro. Nemesis is 1v4 game is trash. Other than other than the zombies giving you free info, the way that he has to, the way that Nemesis has to play Dead by Daylight is ridiculous. If that's why I call Nemesis a joke killer, he's ridiculous. The what? Uh, if if, if you you don't take Nemesis into a match if you're trying to win, like yeah, what let's actually do him next? I haven't played him in a little bit. Hey, if you take Nemesis into a game, you're you are uh, not trying to win. I can tell we, we, we labbed ultimate weapon on this killer, didn't we? Because Nemesis is a joke. When you when you when you actually did, well, you you take him in for a couple games and you determine what you're trying to do with him, he's a joke. You don't win with what he's trying to do. My build concept's a little outdated here. Uh, I honestly think uh. 
Here's the here's the here's the tricky part about Nemesis though. When you're what, 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 when you are building what I think is a, the meta build on him. When you're building what I think is the meta build on him, you have to make a decision because I think Nemesis truly does need save. It, it, it save helps him correct his shit macro. It makes him a little bit more lethal. It makes him a little bit more lethal. If save gets nerfed, this is going to be a very easy decision. But do you keep Jolt or do you go? Do you, you know, do you keep? Do you use Pop or do you go Jolt for for added uh, save synergy? Like Nemesis needs save. I think Nemesis, honestly, Nemesis needs save more than Demo does, because Dem Nemo doesn't have a shit macro that save has to fix. You need to build up stacks. You need to be building up stacks of save as well as your. Uh, you have to. The way the reason I like save is it encourages Nemesis to take a health state rather than just fucking around with his tentacle. You fuck around with the tentacle and, and try to actually tear up before you're in advantage. Like you, like Nemesis' power is win more when you really look at it. You need to slow the game down first, and then you can tear up. I'll show you. I'll show you my Nemesis strat. You said all those add-ons are bad. These are the two I like. These are the two I like right here. We'll start with the easy one, which is Jill's Sandwich. The reason I like Jill's Sandwich is it turns them into Wesker. How when they like open a vial or whatever the fuck, Wesker gets a notification. Base kit. Wesker... Blatt. Wesker gets a notification base kit when you open up the box, right? Or is it when you're actually using the thing? I don't remember. But Nemesis gets a notification... Nemesis. Wesker gets a base kit notification when you fuck around with his boxes. Nemesis doesn't get that until you're using a vial, right? I, I don't know how it works. It basically helps you get over there. It helps you get over there. And then, T-Virus Sample, you might read this one and you'll go, Rosie, if you are newer, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, bad one, but I'll just go over this again for everyone who's new here. You might read this and go, what the fuck are you using this for? Increases mutation rate when destroying zombies by 100%. And you might, again, you might see that and go, bro, what? What the fuck are you running that for? That's not very good. Um, this add-on's his best add-on. You, you don't fucking play him without this. Because this gives you easy tier twos. You can't go fight survivors to tier up. Against, again, you might be able against shit players to go in there and go BADONK I got to hit BADONK I got to hit again now I got two people infected and I'm a tier 2 and the game's been by for 30 seconds against shit players you might be able to do that against the survival friends you miss one tentacle hit the game's over like if you go over there and you're playing against the swift and you fucking miss one tentacle you just lost two gens it's over the game's over with the amount of rate, with the amount of cooldown that you have on a missed tentacle, and then uh, their gen speeds, the game just ended before you could even do anything. Uh, like, like the game is mathematically now over for you unless you fucking come back. So, the conclusion is you need to fucking hit the zombies as you're walking around the map, patrolling the map, building up some save stacks along the way. Maybe just hitting a basic attack to get two save stacks. How, how are you tearing up? You're going to tear up with the zombies. And then you're going to use the tentacle to fucking zone them. At, that's what the tentacle's for in tier 2. You need to get the tier 2. Tier 3 is optional. Tier 3 in this build is optional. You don't need it. You need to use the fucking thing to zone. And then get your basic attack down to build at your safe stacks. That's what you're doing with this killer. The power doesn't work, guys. Like, when you, like, like save, save the best for last. Is, in this meta, in this meta, I've noticed that save the best for last is a band-aid fix for shit killers. Which is kind of what it's always been, TBH. But it's like, especially on Nemesis here, save just makes the macro so much easier to fucking play. It, it adds something to your macro. It adds something to your one before that you're doing, and that, that makes may, that makes way more sense than forcing tier ups by hitting survivors. If you try to force tier ups by hitting survivors, you're gonna fucking lose. I am dead fucking serious too. Again, you can go beat shit teams. I'm not saying you can't do that. Anything will work if they're bad. Like we just said, anything will work if they're bad. But it's like, that's, I mean, and again, like, like, again, we bully Wage all the time because all of Wage's strats don't work if they're good. 
everything Wage tells you doesn't work if, it, if they're good. But like, but it's like, I mean, I get why people try to do it. I've always told him this. I get why people try to develop new strats for this game. It's for this game can be fun when it's played right. But when you're playing against fucking shit players, bro, anything will work. You have to be way what Wage is really bad at. Wage's filtration system is really bad. And what the fuck do I mean by that? Wage's filtration system, determining what works versus good versus bad, is really horrible. That's partly because his game sense isn't very good. That guy just lobby dodged the, the low prestige players. Uh, but yeah, we, this is why prestige shouldn't be shown on the uh, screen here. Because people honestly think it means something when it really doesn't. But, but, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? His filtration system sucks. Wage will beat somebody and go, wow, this is broken, right? I will beat someone and go, wow, they're horrible. That, that, that's really the difference. Wage is so arrogant that he will attribute his quote unquote success to what he's doing. He will contribute his success to what he does versus what they're doing. My, I'm winning because my build is good. No, it doesn't matter what your build is. You're winning because they're shit. Your own skill. This is why the, this is why the the killer skill emphasis in this community is a fucking joke. No matter how good you are at this game, you are only as good as they let you be. You are only as good as the survivors let you be. If the survivors are bad, you can go in there and look like a hundred percent. You can go in there and, and any build can look like it's a meta build. Any killer can go in there and look two tiers better than they actually are. Because, partly because you get to see what the devs were doing. We played a shit. We, we, we played sh shit as Freddy on Ormond the other day. And we actually used the snares to beat the fucking. Uh, that, that fucking snowmobile tile. We used Freddy's snares and got a hit there. Like, Freddy's snares outplayed and got a hit on snowmobile tile. So when you're in a Dead by Daylight development team room and that's your skill level, and then you put the snares down during Freddy's nerf and it's still working at these tiles, you're still getting hits at, at, at some tiles, of course they thought it was good, right? But you're, the killer's only as good as they let you be. Now if a top tier Swift was in their development team and the top tier Swift was testing the killer, they would look at the devs and say, this is horrible. Why don't we try and whispers? We're not. <laughs> we are not doing that, actually. We are not trying whispers here, dude. But you can't, and, I, and again, all, all the meta build does, all, all the meta build really does, all the meta build does is it makes the percentage of players you can beat go up. If, if you run the meta build, you can possibly have a shot to beat 80% of the teams you play against. Or 85 or even 90, depending on killer. Right? Or even 95, dep again, depending on the, 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 the killer that you're playing. All the meta build does is increase the amount of players you can beat. It doesn't save you against every swift. It doesn't save you from every team. That is never what people that run the meta, that's not what we're claiming. The goal here is to give you a fucking chance in hell. If you run bad builds, you might be only be able to beat 50% of teams. And you know what? If you accept that, fine. Just don't tell me what it's not. Just don't tell me what it's not. Okay, we pushed her off the gen. So you see what our reward is here? Our reward for pushing her off gen is this zombie. Oh man. I was hoping that the, that the zombie would be that good. Can I keep her off the gen see what we're doing? The death healed. Where she's off the gen, right? You see it? You don't have enough range here. See? Trash power. We need another zombie hit. He's kind of stuffed in the corner. They want to check this gen over here. Okay, push him off right here. Unfortunately, that the, the obsession is the one we're finding here. 
Get him off the gen. Okay, we check this gen as well. We picked Ormond. The backs, but the, the, the we got a kind of the Ormond's kind of a big map. Nemesis is much better on smaller maps where these zombies will be a little bit more uh, consistent for you. Biggest weakness of the strat here is the, the zombies are a little far apart still. Excited for Chucky? Yes, sir. See how, see how we actively pushed him off the gen? The corrupt's over. It got two minutes, and look what we did. Tier 2. Even on the bigger maps, you, you we got a tier 2 it, 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 relatively when we needed it. If you don't have corrupt intervention here, you lose the gen. Easy. Now we can break the pallets. And again, this is slower than dog shit. There's our oh beautiful. We should have tear we should have hit her with the tentacle, but we we are pressed for time here. If we was a little earlier, we would have, but we are pressed for time and we do need a hook and we do need a scourge hook desperately. I don't know if she had to take a piss or something. I don't know what's going on with her, but Okay. Where is she? Is she still up there? Oh, okay. She did go down there. Okay. There she is. She's back. Not a, not a body block here. They're going to be a body block and swift. Take the save stack. It's better for you in the long run. We already have the pallet zoning. We have a zombie here. Zone her towards it if we can. Where'd she go? Uh, she just went behind it. Zombie trash. There's the Ada. Can't tell if she has made for this or not. I feel like that was a very, very questionable uh, distance there. We still don't have control of the game. That's why our tearing is slow. If you notice, our tearing is a little slow. He's the obsession. Oh wait, no, of course he's not the obsession. The one time we find the Jeff, we decide, eh, let's kill for the tentacle here. He's not the obsession, we wasted our time. Hey, yeah, it's game over. They already won. play there was to take a zombie hit. I guess she does still have a pallet. We didn't have an angle. Yeah. We just don't have Joey, just don't have control. They like, see how they, they constantly kind of know where each other are and the, the gen speeds are very efficient. We did a decent job at still building up our stuff, it's just we can't get it down. Ok, 
Technically, we still have the free jab. We can still pull us off, but we need it down, like, now. We have the whole team injured. This is still technically winnable, it's just our, our, our window is closing very quick. He's up there. Also that, anybody that says, uh, Aliens, uh, is not as consistent as Nemesis is also forgetting about that. They have Crouch counterplay against Nemesis, they don't against Alien. Yep, he got the heal up. Yeah, we're not gonna see that game. See how easy that was for them to break? If you're not getting basic attack downs, then your, your win isn't happening. That's why your power is bad. Also, they're all over each other. See the protection? This type of protection now is really good. That was bad for them. I was really worried we were about to get fat chained. We still can't pick her up yet because we don't know where the Ada is. I would say Jolt might be doing a little more for us here, but you lose here no matter the build. They're just getting the gens done too fast. Anti-camp is also still here. Just pressure gens. Well, it's like, you see, like, the amount that we actually did hit the, we actually pressured the gens outside of, like, the inability to down. The gen pressure in there was actually very solid. The only thing we couldn't do there was down somebody. The one, the way we, the way we pressured the gens, the way we actually hit them, we, they got no gens done in the first two minutes of the game. Like, the 1v4, actually very solid there. It's the inability of the character to down and be lethal. That's the issue. We might be able to still get a 2k here, if we can get a really quick down. The zombie's over there. Maybe we can get a zombie play? Question mark? Well, it's all, I mean, the reason I took that seriously is that's what, that's, what they, that's what they say to you. Like, that's what their big uh, response is. They're about to fool the people us. Zombie oh. play. That was almost really fucking good by her. She tried to use the zombie speed boost to make that a thing. Did you see that? That was almost a fucking god tier play. The fact that she even went for that shows you how good she is. Huh? They're slow on the last gen!
Death Hook Survivor's 99 gens. Basically, yeah. They're slow on the last gen. We're chasing who I think is their best player. We don't... We don't... We want to see if... They're slow on this last gen. They're over here, unfortunate. We had a window to... Uh, we, we still have a window to get a tie. They're still slow. This is still a very slow final generator. Just a little too much protection, not enough gen efficiency. We have a window here, lads. We need a pain rezzo. We have one? Yes, sir, we do. Hopefully there's no, like, toolbox. Pain Rosa blew up the one in the corner. We're gonna head over here. Lads, this is a slow final gen. We have a window. She's up there. Oh. I, I, that scared me. <gasps> I thought that was a survivor. Bro, I will take it. I'm not gonna just fucking not tunnel you. I have eight stacks of save. He, uh, I can't I think he might have made for this. I have eight stacks of save, bro. You're getting tunneled if you're gonna give me a free head. Bad hook spacing, unfortunately. Getting buffed to 4k and them survivors. We're playing a decent team here. Little too much emphasis on protection of their final person. I think we can pop this. Yes, sir. Very slow final generator. Now we need to go and we need to get a tunnel. Our play here, we need to kill Jeff like immediately and then we need to po hyper focus one and then uh, get him out. Cut them off from main, like this, see, okay? Very bad, very bad. This is their Belarus player. The Ada's probably on the other gen, which means this is probably a safe pickup. Yup, DC, because the Ada's on the other gen. The zombie, look at the zombie putting in work over there. We're gonna get a 4k! We are going to get a 4k, bro. Bro. We should get a 4k here. We gotta find this last guy. Eh, might be a 3k. If we if we found a chase like immediately for 4k city, but the fact that we don't have a chase. Okay, wait, do we have a chase? Ada's here. Thank you, thank you, zombie. We saw her even without it though. But the fact that we wanted to even check it is why we even looked. To, it was why we even looked there. Okay, our player is a hyper focus her, but the last gen is going to pop, and then we're going to face camper out with eight stacks of save, and then we'll take a 3k here. He's zoned off in the corner. Oh, we need a basic attack here. We need a basic attack here because, uh, save is at eight. Only use the power. Only use the power to get it down if, uh, they're at something. Like, that's when you take the power hits. Because there's nothing better to take. Like, right now. 
We'll take this. We can't get anything else, so. Now the next time we need to take a power hit for Gucci. Probably a bad bolt. We were hoping she didn't see it coming. No adrenaline. We're doing the right play. She's by a gate as well, which means this gate, we just really can't come over here and do this. We have a zombie that's going to the wrong spot, unfortunately. But still, it kind of scared her off the tile. Did you see that? There we go. Anti-face camping has shut off, which means the Jeff cannot realistically save her. We want to put her by hook by the way over here now, because we have access to this. The just gate is not an option. We want to put her right by this gate. And now we sit here and face camp her out. Because they see they can't get all the way over there. Yep, yes sir. Oh my god, she still has a Kobe chance. We turned uh, chicken shit into chicken salad there. As soon as our window, oh, like, 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 you have to, like, like, we were losing that whole game. And then as soon as the window opened up, I told you. They were slow on the last gem. That's why, like, and, and look, at the point, at the point when we identified we had a window to win, look at what we were at. Because like I said, we may have been unable to down them a lot in the early game. But our gem pressure wasn't bad. You know, I know our gem pressure wasn't bad. We earned enough to go hit a zombie. We, we hit enough zombies to hit tier 2. I think we were even in tier 3 by the time our window opened up. Because we actually did get some hits on the survivors. Uh... And then we were able... Well, what else did we have? We had, we, have, we had safe stacks. We were hitting and pressuring. We couldn't down. Our lethality was bad. But, it, but like because they were slow on the final gen, Pop was able to delay it exponentially. Exponentially. Pop is, Pop is meta again. Pop Goes the Weasel is so good. <laughs> Especially in this meta where you got to like leave hooks. You may have to leave hooks, and like, at that, uh, at that, it's kind of ass, but the fact that you have to leave the hook means that your sweet spot area you need to be in is actually closer to the generators now, may making pop better. Whereas before your sweet spot was right up their ass on the hook, you can still proxy effectively, bring pop, and have it be worth something. But it's like, our, like, if we don't have save there, if we don't have save there, we get kited way longer before that final gen. They have an opportunity to, to get a tie there if you don't have save. In fact, if I, I can go back and rewatch the game and tell you everything save did for us. But I'm telling you in that final situation there, that final situation where we're chasing the relatively decent A-Dub player, uh, they definitely have a chance to swing that around and make it a tie if you don't have save. That was a good game. I'm gonna rewatch that one back. That was a good game. Sloppy on their part, but they hit the first four gens really well. I think they were kind of confused a little bit. I, I don't know why they I, th they, they, I think they popped the gens so fast. I don't think that was a four man swift. I don't, four man swift doesn't make that mistake. Four man survival friends does not make that mistake. I, I think there was I think there was some swift in there, unless that Ada was just a really disrespectful, obnoxious solo queue player. I think there was some swift in there. I think we were dealing with two two mans. Maybe a two man and then two solos. Definitely something uh that wasn't a four man though, because uh if that a four man swift does not make that mistake.
Oh, boys. We got that win as name is shit. But again, but again, it goes back to what I said before that match even started. It goes back... It, it goes back to what I said before that game even started. They're as good as they... You are as good as they allow you to be. That's what it is. Is that Megan in my chat? I can't get to work. I'm off. On my on my uh, on my schedule, it says day off. I checked my schedule to see what time lunch was today, and it said day off. Enjoy your uh, sophomore training, though, guys. Go 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 go! Bring bring the phone around to everybody. I want to say hi. Go tell, go show Thomas that we're on right now, dude. Oh! We got that big win, but okay, it goes back to what I said. It goes back to what I said before we even did that game. They're as good, you're as good as they let you be. The first four gens, they didn't allow us to be good. So we were getting our ass kicked. And then, and then listen, and then listen, and the last gen, they slowed the fuck down. They had a slow last gen. That's all we needed to win. They made one mistake and we were able to win. There, Thomas is here, dude. Thomas, you on break, bro? What are you doing? Imagine losing to Nemeshit, bro. Be you, won't, you won't let behavior nerf you, dude. Nobody's hollering, dude. We're gonna play some night, guys. Look at this boy. Look at this boy, and he's big sword! We're gonna play night with his big sword, bro. Okay. Lads, I'm going to ask you, what are we doing with Knight? Here's our build right now. Oh, that answers my question. What do you think? Should, is Knight a safe killer? That, that's my question. I'm literally yelling, dude. You're going to try to watch my stream while you work? That's so, that's so cool. I don't want your customers to hear me, bro. I say some not nice things. Look. Do we need Jolt or save? That is my question with Knight. I think I might run two games. We're gonna go Jolt first and see what it looks like. Again, I'm calling it Jolt. Surge is a shit perk with a cooldown of 40 seconds. Surge is shit. Jolt is good. You don't think you get benefits from save? We'll see what we can do. I, I, I honestly, I'm on, because the power, again, I view save in this new meta as a correction of shit killers. Knight is not a shit killer. I don't think he's going to need save as much as some of the roster. Save corrects shit. If you're shit, you need save. If your power doesn't work, you need save. Knight's power isn't shit, so I don't I don't know if he I don't think he needs save in this new meta. You can meme on Rosie all you want and how he's a save guy, but in this new meta, throwing pop, stopping gens is important again. Turning your one down into gen deletion is important again. Before the meta was turn your one down into a tunnel and get them the fuck out of your game. That's what the meta was before. Turn one down into a tunnel to get them the fuck out of your game. Now the meta seems to be turn one down into as much gen deletion as possible. Through Jolt, Pain, Rezo, and Pop. And then go back and get your next one. Then worry about your next one. Turn your one down into, let's delete 25% uh, over here, 8% at these two gens, and another 25% over here. That's what the meta is now. And then it's like, after you, after you fucking get control of the game, then it's when you fucking get your next one. Then it's where the fuck do I go next? And again, because what uh, what Pop and Jolt allow you to do, because it's like, okay, well, it's like, what are your tunneling perks? Okay, these two perks now work together. These two perks now work together to fucking uh, get your gen deletion. I heard the knight is a mentally challenged rugby player who died after eating too many sandwiches at one time. You know, knight does like sandwiches. He does like those sandwiches, bro. He likes one knight, he likes one guard and him sandwiching survivors, bro. Knight, Knight's a, Knight's a homie, bro. Knight gives his, Knight gives his guys a huddle pass. Knight is a homie. Knight is not the kind of guy to let you have sex with his girlfriend. Knight's the kind of guy to let you have sex with his hoe. That's different. 
I, there's a there's a difference there, and if you want to know more about it, you can ask him. He is very open to having that conversation. <laughs> nice four med kits, though, right? Because it's like it's just his hoe. He doesn't care about her. He's just she's just the hoe, dude. We need a Burger King, a Burger King alternate skin for night, dude. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, dude. Waiting for game to start, bro. I feel like the last time we ran this, it didn't work. Also, Knight at a Hawkins, bro. They brought a Hawkins offering. Did you see that? It's going to be so weird playing Knight at Hawkins. If we get that. We got it. It's our second game back here. First game is Knight here. The way that the, the linearity of the map might make this a little more challenging for him. I'm not going to lie. The map is still garbage for Survivor, so you can still, like, uh... It should still be relatively easier compared to some, even some of the other maps, but the way the map is, the way the tiles are shaped, Knight might not like this very much. Okay, we have an assassin out. Oh, I heard a chest open over here. Who opened that? What's up, Doc? I heard that chest, bro. Don't you damn think I didn't. I want this basic attack. Okay, very nice. Ah, fuck it. Clunky ass, bruh. We don't know what else they're hitting. We're gonna go ahead and give up. We're gonna go ahead and take a Scourge here. The map size is its one of its biggest problems for Killer. There's not a lot of problems for Killer here, but you have to know the ones that do exist. You need to always assume here, when you, especially when you get your first down, that you're still losing a gen somewhere. Eh, I don't like the way those two are shaped. One, two, three. We have a nice three gen here. We honestly want to keep this. This is going to be a surge map. Okay. We want to take this tunnel. Okay, let's see what Knight can do here. Zone it off. Don't let her take this. Very nice. For the people, buckle up somebody else. Motherfucker be trying to fool the people buckle up us, bro. Yeah, I ain't doing it. You are not doing it, bro. Jailer's a little Jailer's main role is a little bit better in this meta. We have enough time to get over here and they forget how to get over there. Our gen's still good. That's fine. Those two are way off on the outskirts. We're gonna take the slug here in the basement and then go for the tunnel.
We trust ourselves to get this, Michaela. If they want to give us a double slug game, though, that's also different. I trust ourselves to get her, though. We don't want to lose her. Don't want to use the power yet. And again, the map layout makes it a little awkward to even go for to begin with. Okay, she's done. Oh, off the record. Nice. She's at the worst pallet in the game. Oh, wow. They took the bullet for her. We knew there's no DS there because we would already got burned by it. Got a tunnel. Very good. Okay, now we need to go see what our gens look like. We lost a little bit of broken pressure on this side of the map. Okay, that's enough to hit. No, we're two of them are. Really good. Very nice. Can we go through the wall here? Ah. I didn't think we could, but I was still hoping we could. I'll let her go. We, it, it, we gotta make sure we're saving our gens. That's a hit. Never mind. Still clunky relearning this and where to go. Some of the nuances we seem to have forgotten, like where to go, where to enter. There's another gen over here. Hit her. Beautiful. There's two of them over here. We want to just we want one two down here. We'll take the hit there. We'll take the dual pressure there instead. We were going for a one two down. I don't think we would have gotten it. She's about to pre drop. Oh wait, do they all have that? They might all have uh, syringes. Not syringes, uh, the, 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 the fucking piece of trash I had on. It's a life. Very nice. And we got a jolt proc over there. We have a pain reso as well. They also haven't tar started touching this one. We are in super control. We're gonna go for basement. We lost something. It's probably the one in the corner. Hmm, we didn't really want to lose that one. That, that's rough. We honestly did not want to lose that. We still have a 3 gen though, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but we did not really want to lose that. Because we lost that one, we have to do, it changes how we play slightly. We do need to camp this basement hook now. Which we will, and, the, and honestly, this basement's actually really good for the new camping strat because the, the, their options for getting in are super limited, and we can see them like oh, we can see them all. We lost another one. It's probably the one in the back. So identify what's going on.
Don't get bitch metered. Don't let him for the people. We have to be a little more aggressive here, because we don't know what partial progress they have. We have a Jailer, which is great. Jailer means we can be more aggressive. There we go. Nice. That's what we needed. He just fucking Kobe'd. It's really okay though. Oh, sir, Jolt. It's not too big of a deal. She has flip flop power struggle. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, the amount of fucking bullshit, bro. Hey, anyway. Let's make sure they're not over here. He's not. I don't know if that was bitch meter or not, regardless. It's gonna it's gonna kill her faster because she fucking uh, did it too early if it was bitch meter. If that was bitch meter, she did it way too early. Yes sir, we're ready for Chucky, bro. We're back on this game for Chucky. That's chill. We're healing. Fantastic. We're off the ends. Okay. This is a pop. We want to jailer this. Nice, we got a hit. Oh, rough. That's rough. Okay, that changes what we're doing a little bit. The way that the map is laid out means we're not going to get that 1-2 down. We need to check where Adam is. We could have... Uh, that is a very 4K play, what we just did. If we were trying to get 3K, it would, that would be a, a simple choice of just focus him. But we're trying to, we're going for 4K, not 3K. You want a 4K here? It looks like we, we're good. Uh, there's a pallet in here I want to smash with Carnifex. Uh, okay, our Jeds look great. This is going to be an easy win. They're both here. I was gonna say, you're giving me something there, aren't you? Drop. They drop.
Rotate back this way. Place the jailer here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm getting bored. I want to end the game. They just heard him. Looks like a 3k is what we're going to have to take here. So let's just go ahead and just uh, pressure this guy and get him out. When they rework this, they're gonna add a god power up here. It's gonna piss me the fuck off. That is not what you do. I did miss save on night, but I understand why he doesn't need it. It is a nice benefit to have. You go in the locker? Why? Now I can get a 4k. Because we have a pain reso. Eh, are we gonna make that? Workers, but I'm at my house, Mithrigan. Ugh, fucking miserable, dude. I just wanted a 4K. Also, our hook spacing is actually really miserable. Bro. The hook spacing is miserable. Like, it's actually really bad. We're gonna have to slug him. That's not just be that's not, not just wanting a score choke anymore. That was legitimately our closest option. He fell for the same play twice. That was legitimately our, our closest fucking hook. We're gonna have to slug him. Okay. We need to identify if we can reach that one extremely quick. I think we can. Bro. Hook spacing bad. And, but, and all that misery. Here's why I don't like this game. All that misery for the same result. Like there was no point in making that fucking hook as, as terribly spaced as it is. If you, there should never be a hook dead zone created off of blowing up one hook, or the hook should respawn. Scorch hooks should respawn. I don't understand how this game is st just still does things so stupid. Also, that map and night do not work together. Yeah, we had a. Uh, no, that was OTR. That was OTR. So we got we got robbed of two endurance two downs because of endurance twice, and then we got a, robbed of the basement camp because of deliverance, and we got robbed of two hooks via bad hook spacing. We were robbed of like five situations there, and we still won. Like that's that, that that's the thing about playing killer, bro. If those guys were actually good, all they needed was one endurance play to beat you, and we and when we dealt with two endurance plays, two robbed hooks, and one blown face camp. Mechanics of this game never change. Like, like in that game where we won, the game was miserable. We won, bro.
that game where we won the match, there was, I, I can tell you, f five five horrible things that shouldn't have happened. Okay, well, it's like, I don't mind the Deliverance. He used the perk. Uh, getting raw the Deliverance, like, he used the perk, he used Deliverance, sure. Uh, the hook spacing being trash is unacceptable, and then the, uh, the two Endurance got hit by a bullshit item, and off the record's pretty fucking broken, if you can actually use it. Robbing the killer of even one endurance hit is like low key, like low key, like really stupid in this game. Let's try work. We work DC merchant again. Let's keep getting familiar with her. What do these do now? No, that is totally not worth it. long as you're undetectable. You, I, want, I actually want to try this. Again. Does this stack with Brutal? If this stacks with Brutal, it could be pretty good. Oh, getting Brutal by itself might be enough. I want that other purple one though. The uh the the when you get a claw trap, see their aura. You still want that one though. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. We might just we might just do map roulette here. We have six of these, and I want to run the add-ons, so we're just gonna bank on the map being relatively playable. She could do jolt, but I think new DC merchant probably needs save. If she was old DC merchant, you'd probably do jolt. New DC merchant though, you might want to bring save, especially as you figure out what you're doing with her. But if you can ma if you can like get start getting injured with this, you want to keep them injured. Possibly sloppy butcher. I'm trying to test if her power can keep decent teams injured enough on its own though. Hold on. Hold on one second, lads.
All right, sorry about that, lads. We ready. We ready to go. We ready to go, lads. I am here, Megan. I was calling your mom. Megan, you want lunch? I can test that, actually. Let's test if Megan's on launch. One, two, guys. Let's test it. She's not answering. I guess she's not on launch, bro. She is not on lunch, can't confirm. Has enough time in between phone calls to call me a loser though. <sighs> what do we got here? Escape cake, fake, escape cake. What? Okay. We're playing map roulette, so. We're inviting shit into our uh, game now. We're, in, we're playing map roulette. Hopefully the game has some mercy on us and doesn't give us something horrible. That being said, who's ready for Trash Hilarity's map, bro? I don't think I've played there since the last time we played Old DC Merchant. Garden of Ass, anybody? We're ready to go, dude. The Stromo wreckage could be worse. I had a little bit of Cheerios. You know about Cheerios, bro? I've not I've not played Do Skull Old DC Merchant here, let alone new one. So let's see what we can do with her here. This is a big map. Got some Cheerios, dude. I tried to shield them from the mic so y'all wouldn't have to hear me chew. I'm very self-conscious about my chewing these days. I th okay. She kind of caught me off guard. I guess our undetectable kind of helped to sneak up on her a little bit. Let's commit to this. We don't know what else to do right now. Eh, let's go over here. Ah, she saw us. Let's recall that one. I don't know, we want it back. If you recall your drone mid chase. An improvement idea I have. If you recall your drone mid chase, you should get off your cooldown. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh... Very nice. No, oh, come on. <gasps> that was not 20%. Bro, I'm so mad. We literally had that, and then we did the easy part wrong. We literally did the hard part and screwed up the easy part. Ah! Ah! 
I'm so mad there because we could have had that down way earlier. Never seen Ace Visconti, dude. Very sloppy play on our part. That was pretty bad. We can still pop this, though. Very sloppy play. I'm very mad about that, actually. I'm serious. Get off that. You can give me the save stacks. Ah, balanced. Piss off. <laughs> the haste there helped us out. Okay, we're gonna finally- I'm actually gonna get a score choke here. Still rough. The early game was sloppy. Which means we're gonna have a hard time recovering. No matter what. They're over here. Very nice. Pick her up. We need to make something happen here. We're still losing. I, li <clears throat> I like... I like... We're beginning to like what we see just a little more. Give me that one back. We kind of, we haven't really been able to set ourselves up for a good tunnel yet. That one fell. I think we kind of planned on that though. So let me deploy please. Nice, there it is, there it is! Beautiful! Did you see? Oh, come on, we got DS. We have eight save stacks. We can transfer over. Nice. What a waste there. Give me the haste. Did you see that? What? Did you see that, Bill? We played that very well. That particular chase, though, was phenomenal. Two big, quick injures. We kind of we we are missing Jolt right now. I will not lie to anybody. Oh my God! It's autistic Aspergers. What did that do for you, bro? Like, why run that? What did that do for you?
very nice. We don't lose a save stack because it was a grab. And now we can get over here and pop this and save the game. And we have a three gen. We looking a little better. And we got the ace stack back. <gasps> Lads, okay, we need to recall uh, that one over there. What do we? What do we look like? We have three. We have three we can place. Let's rotate back around. Make sure they're not trying to sneak with us one in on us. They are. Zone them off with life here. There's two of them over here. Oh, come on. We needed that so bad. He just screwed his teammate. We need a pain rezo. We don't know where the, uh, uh, the Rebecca is. We need to pain rezo. Where is that at? It's over here. He got injured. Bro, she's still good. I just, I just got news for everyone. This is still a good character. Okay, that gen is not at pistons moving. We know where the Rebecca is. This is safe. Go over. Okay, she just hacked that. She just went under that. Come over here, kick this with pop. Did we lose him? That's not what we needed. Fuck it, we have to go find her. Nice undetectable. Unfortunate that we lost the ace and we lost the hook there. Better teams would have punished us. This is not a good team. This is a team that had a good early game. So you just, like, again, the, like the mathematics there. Okay, let's get rid of this. It's been in the game too long. That's still regressing. Let's check this one over here. We've earned it. Recall that one. We don't need it anymore. Very nice. Put this one up. It's by a pallet. This one is by a pallet as well. We don't know where they are. I, want, I, I bet money they're on the ship, but we don't want to go to the ship because it's a waste of time to go there. There's no gens over there. Let her die. Please. Be your friend. Very nice. That's a comeback win right there, guys. Retaining the save stacks, and then also getting that clutch one. I bet money this guy's on here. We can go to the ship now because we have a kill, and there's no gem progress. And we have a big drone ass, we have a big ass drone set up over there, oh hi. Switching the scan lines should also get rid of any immunity they have. 
If they have immunity, switching the scan line should like get rid of that. But I don't know if she needs that. Because she's still really good. Her pressure is insanely good. The way her drones work, the, 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 the fact that they gave you more drones was actually like a super good buff. Because this version of her would suck with four drones. The fact they gave you two more is a, is a very, there was very nice of the devs. If this guy tight kites us, we're gonna recall a drone back to get a brutal. But he is not tight kiting us, so we Gucci. He's going back towards our setup. Very nice. DC Merchant, baby! She's still pretty fucking good. They were very fucking generous with, uh... They were very fucking generous with her changes, which could piss you off because, like, a lot of other killers don't get what she gets. They are not this nice to other killers when they decide to change them. She's actually like kind of fun. Like the more the more I play her, the more fun I think she is. Like I like the the very first time I played it, I'm like, I mean, it was okay, but it's like I never want to do it again. The more shit you find for her, it's like, okay, this killer actually has shit, and it's like it's way more fun than she was before. The way she was before was like horrible for both sides because like it wasn't fun for the killer to play either because all you did as killer was like go up to like the three closest generators on the map throw up three drones and then survey them the whole game that was the way she played before now it's like the way that she plays the way you're trying to section off a map you're trying to like daisy chain what it plays the ways to force hits and then her 1v4 game is very good picking the right time to commit versus pick the right time to go in she's a lot more strategic now <clears throat> And again, it's not, like, the most hard thing to do ever. Like, the drones have a big enough area of effect where you can kind of be free with them and still kind of, like, get shit. Like, the area of effect is still big, but it's like, once you... Like, what a Skull Merchant player knows how to daisy-chain the shit together. <laughs> and there's also reason to do it now. The nerfs to them by generators, combined with the fact that, like, they were buffed in chase, actually very hard. They were buffed and chased really hard. The fact that it injures them now instead of exposing them means they can't outlast you. They can heal you off, but it's like if you have a good board established, like if, if the amount of time it takes for them to like go heal it off and then come back and it, it's she's good, bro. She's pretty, pretty good. Sure, I mean, again, her board is much more breakable. The, 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 the game speed against her for them has definitely sped up. You can feel the nerfs, but you can also... Everything that they gave you, you can also feel. Again, I'm not in love with it, but it's like... Sure. Let's play some Trash Hilarity. 
I'm in that kind of mood. Uh, let's get let, let's keep save on for right now. I don't trust this killer at all. I do not trust the character enough to go full on like jolt and shit. But I do want to see. I want to see how he feels right now. I want to see what he can do with pop. He's one of the least picked for a reason. Yes, sir. I don't trust this killer at all. If I'm good, if I'm going to delete save, I have to trust the killer that I'm playing as. Or their power just like Legion. I don't trust Legion, but I don't run save on Legion because he just it's very obvious why he doesn't need it. And even then, Legion can still kind of run it if you really want to. Legion can still kind of run it. But you just don't need it on him. But I don't trust this killer at all. Uh, like Knight, I trust Knight. DC Merchant, I'm starting to trust her a little bit more. I'm starting to trust her a little bit more without it, but like I still think save is good on her. If you could, because like if you could actually make a DC Merchant play, well, you could actually have an eight like an eight stack of save play. But it's I don't know if it's worth giving up. And the amount of downs you're getting, I still like Joel is for when you have like Joel can be a comeback tool, but but like I don't know. I feel I feel like Pop is very slowly starting to outclass Joel on like every level. And the reason for that is that Pop works better with uh, Pain Rezo. Pain Rezo is just so fucking good. One thing that Pop can do for you is it can kind of like, if you got like a bad Scorch Hook RNG, Pop can kind of negate that for a little bit. It can kind of add additional slowdown value. I really wish Corrupt Intervention wasn't fucking mandatory, which we talked about earlier. Because if corrupt, if you have if you have two gens blocked off for one minute, you delete corrupt and throw in jolt, and then it's like you have an actual, like you have chase and three slowdown options as well as a base early game slowdown timer for one minute on two gens. That would be fucking sick. That would be fucking sick, but, you know, we can't have nice things. We can't have nice things, bro. Okay. We're running this Eerie because why play him without it? Okay, we gotta relearn things a little bit here. It's been a while since we've played him. I trust that one up there. I trust that one there. I said I trust that one there. Watch it. I trust the one on Water Tower up there. You need one right here to cover Shaq. Eh. Can we cover Shaq from inside? Put one up in the corner. I think we can cover Shaq with that one. Very nice. Uh, I just want the hit. Very nice.
Uh, excuse me. Put a pod there. So you're dicking around with the power and it's trash. I don't know where we lost that one. It's up there. Very nice. Healing by hook. Okay. Proxy there. That Cheryl is pretty bad. Lisa, whatever the fuck her name is. Vision down. Fine, we'll take that. Ah, I hate this fucking setup there. Get that one on that cactus right there. It's the obsession, we don't love it, but we need it down. One thing you'll notice, I, again, people like think I'm obsessed with save. One thing you'll notice about me is I will always prioritize getting a down over save the best for last stacks. Nine times out of ten, the down is significantly more important. We need to blow up that boon, but we also need to blow up the gen. Say, give me the fucking kill. I don't care about save stacks. Give me the fucking kill. It's fine. She's bad, so... This should still be relatively free. They've only gotten two gens done. Super unfortunate there. I mean, the stacks.
They're trying really hard to save her, and I don't know why. Surprising for an inferior life form. I need to go save this gem. That was all super unfortunate. The only reason we didn't hard tunnel her out was that gen is important play. You save that gen, you save the whole game. That person's also bad. We can get her out whenever. And we open up another death hook option if we do this. Pop this. We open up another option though. Is that the uh both in okay. We know where everyone is. We know where everybody is. We can cap this really hard. Very nice. She's dead. Score truck anywhere? Yes, sir. It's a little far. I hate Huntress. I do not like Huntress very much. Oh, they mistimed it! She's on death hook. Beautiful. Prepare for transcendence, you piece of shit! That's a whole lot of dying, not a whole lot of preparing for transcendence. So I don't like, I don't know how much I like that, bro. You gotta do some preparing for transcendence. Not a lot of save stacks there, and honestly, <clears throat> but based on the way they were playing, we would have rather have had Jolt that match. But that doesn't mean save is trash and not what you want to be running. It just means in that one game on this very killer-sided map, <clears throat> quote-unquote, again, the game is not killer-sided. <clears throat>
But on this one map, based on the way they were playing, we would have rather had Jolt. Only three gens though. Impressive performance. Very altruistic Swift though, wasting their own time a lot, trying to save their very weak link. Very weak player there. And the identification of that of the camping there, very solid. Uh, she found it. The identification of, like, that proxy camp was, like, very good. Because we knew where everybody was. We had enough information to just stay in that one area where we didn't fill bitch meter up, but we punished anybody that went in extremely hard because the only person they had healthy that could make that save guaranteed was their person on death hook. She was the only one who could do it. She was the only one who could do it, bro. Stretching out, bruh. That's what we do. Also, the early game there was very solid. Or, or the add-on combination uh, that, honestly, Wage came up with. This add-on combo does a really good job of kind of fixing his issues in the early game. Because you get the auras who pick up an EMP along with uh, everybody split streamed at the start of the game. So they're running right towards EMP so you get free aura at the start of the game. Very good lethal LP per placement while at the same time still working in the late game. Let's play some Plague. We have Toe. Okay, we got Toe. I guess we only have one copy though, is that right? Yeah, only one copy of Toe. We have to go map roulette. Ah, uh, hold on. We, we want, we want, I want to replace this build. I trust Plague, so we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do Pain Rezo Pop on her. With Jolt. We'll go ahead and uh, spend a little bit though. Maybe we won't need to. Uh... Trying to avoid map roulette. So I kind of want to play on Swamp. We are not getting very lucky today. All right, let's just go map roulette. I got a strong killer, so we should be okay. I gotta go put my computer on the charger real fast, guys. I will be right back. I'm not quit. I'm not stepping out this time. I do need to make a phone call today, so this will probably be my last game because I gotta I gotta do something work related. So I do need to go do that. So just give me one second.
All right, we're back. Alrighty, so hopefully Map Roulette doesn't murder us. Map Roulette has murdered us. Okay, I think the last time we played her here, we were here as well. And we got a strong killer. If you're gonna play here, get a strong one. They are reworking this map though, because it's fucking trash, so... That's not a scratch mark, is it? No, it's just... They peeled on like two gens. These guys are fucking... They got ballsy. That was, that was life, I guess. Ballsy fucking players. Okay, we need to get, we need this down like really bad though. Tain the blood boss as well. Go for a slug game early. Jesus, this is a gen rush and swift. We need to clear out these pallets. This is a balance play. We have pop, so we don't have to worry about taking her to a score truck. We know what gem we're going to. Would like a score truck here a little, little further from where we need to be. Is this already reworked? I feel like the layout's a little different. We've slowed the game down.
clear it out. Turn around. Very nice. <clears throat> Very good, gamers. Look at this bouncing. Cool, it's gone. Get him out. Yes, go right back to it. Rough. We're basic M1 killer now. We need to kill Dwight. Okay, we're gonna be able to. He's up there. Let me make a play here. We have a jolt. We'll take it down if they give us one. Very nice. We do not want to lose the score, Chuck. We have two left. I'm going to come in here and pop this one. You clap nothing, sir. Hell yeah!
Every perk helped us. Every single one. The jolts, the pops, the pain resins, the corrupt, everything. And look at the gens. The amount of pressure we had to have in terms of lethality and downing here is ridiculous against an average team. These guys are completely average. Not very good at kiting. Kind of carried by the, the uh, objective speed in terms of like why this is close and why they're getting things done. A very high lethality game as an M1 killer, pretty much. And this is still hard. She fucking Kobe. We made the right choice popping that. Not very pallet efficient here either. <clears throat> A lot of dropping. We got kind of cucked by the auto aim there. That time we fucked up. Let's go ahead and respect the S here. We saw which way she went. Oh. Fucking red like a book. Perfect game. For the most part, a couple mistakes and chase here and there. Couple chase mistakes here and there. The 1v4 was perfect. We executed the one corrupt purge we did get. Pop and Pain Rezo were so good together, dude. Even with all of this, look what they did. Look how much gem progress they had. Even with all of this, if you're running anything that's not this build, you do not beat that team. You do not beat that team. Those guys were gen rushers, bro. Those, they, those were gen rushers. That's what they were. They were not that good in chase. They hit the gens extremely well. What were we running? Prove thyself. There's one. Two proves. Two proves at a commodious toolbox. Yeah. They were really slamming those gens really, really hard. 
Every perk helped us there. Every single one. Meta. M-E-T-A. Blag's really good, by the way. Holy fuck. You take healing out of the game and and, and, and she's A tier. Like, that's all her power basically is. She, she deletes healing from the game and she's, like, really good. Honestly, they should have probably cleansed a little bit more than they did. <laughs> you gotta take advantage of the heals when you can get them. I know you give her corrupt purge, but, like, when you see we're running jolt, like... I don't know. I don't know how to. I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't agree with that strategy anymore. Not to the extreme degree. Not to the extreme degree of never cleanse ever. I agree with not cleansing for the most part, but you need to like pick a situational time to do it. Like you shouldn't be running to a fountain to cleanse as soon as you get hits. That's not what you should be doing. But either. But it's like you. If you could. If you see yourself losing control of the game a little bit, the only way you can kind of get yourself fucking healed is to like. Like the only way you can kind of get the the ball rolling again is to get some extra health states especially if you're getting outplayed ever by her as an m1 you kind of need to like get those get to get that value up a little bit i don't know i just don't agree with how they played that and even then they still got four gens done i think if they if they were if they if they picked the right time to adequately cleanse there they could have actually deleted the generators they could have at least gotten all five done good game though all right, good games, good solid games today. Two and a half hours. I think I'm gonna. I'm planning to be back on a little bit later tonight. I'm planning to be back on later tonight as well for a little bit. Maybe from like ten to midnight. Another two hours today. I think I gotta split it up though. So I will be here. I will be heading out for right now. I'm gonna rewatch some of those games back and take a chill pill. And then I gotta go ahead and. Uh, I do need to uh, make a work call, so I do have to do that. But I'll go ahead and brb for right now, lads. GGS.